The survey report amounts to almost 1,000 pages and covers pretty much every facet of German society. The conclusions are that Germany is changing, slowly but surely. Germany is becoming more diverse, both in its population and its opinions. Attending an event organized to launch the report, the Chancellor saw it as an inspiration and a valuable opportunity to find out more about her compatriots. It has a lot of interesting things you can look up. What do women prefer wearing? Trousers or skirts and dresses? The ladies here might like to know that 58% prefer trousers and 16% dresses and skirts. The Chancellor tends to save the latter for visits to the opera. But in one significant change, it seems Germans are losing interest in garden gnomes. Cats, meanwhile, are now the most popular pet. And one in four young people have a piercing. But it's still a car-crazy country and the renowned German angst is still evident. Germans still cast their eyes nervously toward the horizon for potential danger. And they're skeptical about whether the country's economic record of recent decades will continue in the future. Fear of unemployment preoccupies Germans, as does the concern that society is becoming increasingly unjust. People are worried the gap between rich and poor is growing and everything's going to get worse. I think the gap will be very big 10 years from now. And how do you see that? I'm no fortune teller. I can't actually say how things will be in 10 years' time. And I don't like thinking about it because it just makes me more worried. I prefer to live in the here and now. There are enormous expectations for the government to resolve problems. Voters demand politicians with both intelligence and dignity. Their looks and speech-making ability are more or less irrelevant. In general, there's growing discontent with the country's leaders, as the rather devastating figures show. Almost 70% believe politicians are simply in the job for their own personal selfish gain. I feel they fail to show social commitment and take action on issues they claim to represent in public. Their objectives are selfish. The Germans do have a more relaxed attitude towards their armed forces. A majority believe the German military is important in the role of defending the country and helping out during emergencies. The latter also applies to overseas missions. But there's relatively little support for involvement in actual conflicts and skepticism about the war on terror. Why are we skeptical? I find it difficult to gauge the political situation because we're not given enough information. I'd like to know far more when it comes to political objectives and overseas missions and what the real background is. A more visible change is in the number of new mosques and the increasing number of people from ethnic minorities. Germans generally have a more relaxed view of foreign cultures than they did 30 years ago. Tensions do exist, however, and there's a desire for more assimilation. A significant majority are against the Muslim headscarf, but why? I've often wondered about that. I wouldn't have minded trying one on myself to see how it feels. I also think it has something to do with our self-esteem as women and how we've experienced change. In Germany, women might view it as oppressive, but that doesn't mean that it's not seen completely differently in another culture. There's also the cultural divide between Western and Eastern Germany. A majority of people in the latter still identify themselves primarily as East Germans rather than just Germans. But overall, Germans seem to have become more pragmatic and sober in their outlook. They've lost their taste for conflict about what's the best formula to save the world. But in the process, they seem to have become more cosmopolitan and a bit more colorful.